Yo, what's good, people? Welcome to day 56 of the weight loss transformation, the mindset transformation, and most importantly of all, the lifestyle transformation. 344.4 on the scale to be expected, people. This is what I said was going to happen, and it's what's been the trend thus far. We have a low weigh-in. We go up a bit slightly. We hold around there, and then we have another low weigh-in. So 344.4 today. And what I want to speak about, people, is we're going to have a talk about diet, because... We are fast approaching the end of the 30 days, four weeks, whatever I decide to do on this zero carbohydrate journey. I said I was getting in and out, which is exactly true. However, I've changed my mind slightly on what I said I was going to be doing. And you don't have to be married to a single idea on a weight loss transformation. The only idea you should be married to is a calorie deficit. You can eat in a variety of different ways to achieve your deficit. Sustainability is the key thing. Sustainability and a calorie deficit. There's no point doing things that you don't like doing because you won't stick to them. If you have a bad day and you're doing something you don't like doing, you best believe you're coming off. So just want to get that out there first, people. Calorie deficit is the overall thing and there's different ways to achieve it. There is no denying that if you are morbidly obese like I am, your body uses food differently to say someone that was a lot skinnier than you. If you if I was weighing 200 pounds and I ate a certain amount of food, my body would use that very differently to how it does now being 244 pounds. That's just facts. That's just how it goes. And to be honest, people, why Zero Carbs has worked so well for me, first of all, I've done it before so I can stick to it. So adherence for me is quite easy. But excess carbohydrates is one of the reasons why you do get very, very heavy. I was likely pre-diabetic. Again, no diagnosis on this. This was my own findings from how I felt and things and saw other people's experiences with this. By the way, that was very heavy. 90 kg aside. Bosh. Anyway. So dropping the carbs has worked very easy for me. I said I was going to include carbohydrates. And yes, that is also what I'm going to be doing. But what I've changed my mind on is when. Is when. I'm going to have a video talking about this tomorrow, detailing everything I'm going to do. Because I'm pretty battered. I'm going to have a rest day and we'll go through it properly. But carbohydrates are very, very good for bodybuilding. I'm getting back into the bodybuilding space, people. That was my passion. That's what I know. I, I was lean for five years. Sometimes I go a bit heavy and then pull it down. But bodybuilding and dieting in that way is what I know. That's what I love. And now doing this again is where I want to get back to. However, I'm still not that person. 300 pounds is my target. I'm going to include carbohydrates and I'm going to hit 300 pounds. And how I'm going to do that, long-winded here, sorry, I do apologize, is to carb cycle. Because I'm concerned eating low carbohydrates for performance and doing that too long. So I'm going to refeed once a week on carbohydrates, likely maintenance. So this is carb cycling as well as almost calorie cycling too. I will eat high carb on one day a week. This will allow me to include foods I've been cutting out. It will help with adherence, sustainability, and it will give me that benefit of still having glycogen and stuff in my body. It is almost a way to trick your body slightly, right? And arguably it can lead to better results. Is that because it's sustainable because you're including stuff? Maybe. Is it because you're tricking your hormonal health? Maybe. We're going to document it on the channel. We're going to see. So likely going to do a cycle with 30 days of carb cycling. So we'll have four refeeds and we'll see what happens. We'll get to a certain weight and then we'll assess from there what the next steps are. Long term, I want to say this, I want to be eating carbohydrates every single day and eating more bodybuilding style. That would be protein, moderates are high carbs, and then fats will be where they are. That's how I want to eat. However, I know I've got a lot of, lot of body fat on my body still that for my health, I need to get off. And I don't want to get it off completely rapidly and crash diet and wreck myself because I know that will lead to me bouncing back. However, I believe this approach of carb cycling will allow us to see the benefits we have done thus far but it will give us added benefit in replenishing glycogen and all these things because if, if you know bodybuilding and things, glycogen is important. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, hydrate. They are definitely good in bodybuilding and there's no way my performance will not improve including them even for one day. I'm very happy embracing the suck and burning through them again because I do have, look at my belly, 
uh, while my body. I've got a lot of stored energy on my body that I can use too. And maybe that's why I found this so easy thus far is because I have this excess energy I can pull from. I'm 340 pounds, man. I've got a lot of body fat that I can use for energy. So that might be one of the reasons why I'm finding it this easy. If I'm 250 pounds, will I find this as easy? Who knows? We'll worry about that when it comes to it. But right now, I'm going to try and get the best of both worlds and we'll see how it goes. It might go horrible. I might change my mind before the 30 days and I'm more than happy to change my mind. But I believe from past experiences in doing this too is that this is going to be the beneficial best of both worlds. So we'll likely cycle it for another 30 days, see where we're at and then maybe make another decision. But 300 pounds is in my scope. It's in my line of sight and I want to get to there before we start incorporating more carbohydrates. I'll make a video again on this tomorrow, breaking down what I'm going to eat and things. But I thought I just wanted to get out there for you people. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Peace.